of the starship Enterprise. Its five-year mission to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new life and new civilizations, to boldly go where no man has gone before. Thank you for donating to uh, my uncle Tally. Uh, I appreciate it, and I know that my family appreciate it because he been on our lives for years now. So yeah, and I just want to say thank you because yeah, I'm happy. Yeah, and we love you guys. Bye. Bye. He's forever and always. He's forever and always. He's forever and always. I ordered this book, God is on Trial. I ordered this book from Amazon, and I must say I've read it. It's very well written, very thought-provoking. You know, I'm done. So, you know, don't expect me to be on YouTube all the time. And, you know, because no, but none of you, none of you are helping me out. I have to go to work every day. I have to go to work, you know, to make money. And none of y'all are dropping me $5 or nothing in my cash app or nothing. <laughs> so don't know, don't expect me to come on here making videos all the time because that's not going to happen. 
like I said, it takes it takes a lot of energy to come on here and talk and, and, and make videos and, and put together, you know, presentations, you know, and, and uh, you know, all of that take time and energy. You know, I mean, <laughs> I mean, don't don't expect me to come on here talking and, and, and carrying on. And always, this is your brother, Talik Evening Ra, and welcome to another edition of the Realities Temple on Earth. And of course, I'm your host, Diane Ra. I'm going to I'm going to hide behind this picture today, okay? That's what I'm going to do like a whole lot of folks do. Got a whole lot to say. I'm going to stop making videos and just hide behind this picture right here. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm your, I'm your, I'm your host, Brother Tony T.B. Rock. Let's get to it. Did you know? Contrary to popular belief that black people cannot be racist. And I know there are a lot of other folks out there that might disagree. And that's your, as Bobby Brown would say, 
The sole prerogative. The sole prerogative. But your prerogative doesn't mean it's necessarily true. Prior to the European coming into power, or this particular race of Caucasians being uh, a dominant influence and power in the world, to my knowledge, you can you can teach me, okay? You can teach me, but to my knowledge, there was no such thing as racism. Racism is an after effect of what is called white supremacy, where the Caucasian people, knowing they were the actual minorities on the planet, created a system to make them or keep them in, the, in that dominant realm. Also to protect them from genetic annihilation because they knew if they mixed in with the darker people, mixing with darker people would cause them to go extinct. So with white supremacy, this helped them remain in power and protect their race from genetic annihilation. So when they decided to take black people and bring them into this country, the black man was not meant to become a citizen. He was meant to be an animal, a beast of burden. So a system was designed in order to keep him in that position based on racial superiority, white supremacy. Racism comes from the practice of white supremacy. Your race being dominant over another. It is impossible for black people to be racist because in order to be a racist, you have to take advantage of the fact on your skin color. Because the world that's around you is born and made where it uplifts the light or the white or the Caucasian and it degrades and makes inferior those who are dark. So in this society, Caucasian people control the educational system of blacks, control the employment of blacks, control the economics of blacks. Black people don't make none of the laws. They are under total 100% domination of white people. Even till 2009, because these blacks don't even mind being under the domination of whites. They still carry their slave master's name from 300 years ago. They are still Johnson and Jackson and all these Caucasian names because they still have a connection to the slave master. White people don't carry African names. White people don't are not educated by black people. Their uh, society is not uh, controlled by the economics of black people. They are not held down or made inferior or done biased against because of their race because their race are the ones in control. Now, black people can dislike you. They can hate you if they wish, they choose to do so. They can become an employer and fire you because of your race. But you see, you can get fired because of your race, but you're not dependent on black people to give you no job. 
Black people are dependent upon whites to give them jobs. They are dependent on whites to educate them. They are dependent on this white government that is rooted in white supremacy for their well-being. So they cannot be racist because they have no control. They cannot do anything to you. But you can take advantage if you are Caucasian because this uh, society is rooted in uh, Caucasian supremacy. You can take advantage of your white skin and do things to darker people that he can't do to you because it is your people who are in control. It is funny to me that certain Caucasian people or, or white people, however you want to, or Europeans, however you want to call yourself, they're always trying to share evil and wicked things with others. Because uh, you are racist. You want to share, you want to try to make black people racist and wish that's something they cannot do. You want to share it with them. And you want to call black people murderers and drunkards and all these other different things when it's bad. When it's bad. You want to say that black people own slaves. They did. There were black people that owned slaves. And you want to say, well, some black people own slaves and they did. But they don't run this country. They didn't make the laws. You put them in that position to do that. Then this nation became rich off slavery. These black people didn't become world powers because they own slaves, but you did. Now, you want to share the blame that some black people own slaves, but you don't want to share the richness with them. You don't, you don't want to share your power with them that you came from your slave owning days, and you still exploit people. People, not only black people, may not be slaves per se, but they are exploited. We know that we are underworked and underpaid, and a certain class is that held up high, and if you're not part of that class, you are exploited. So a rich man can't commit a murder. And a poor man can commit a murder, but because I got some money, my chances of not being punished is much greater. But as a poor person, or one who is biased against because I'm dark-skinned, the chances of me seeing the, seeing the death chamber, having a, a, a chemical put in my vein, suffering the death penalty, the sky, the chances of me being punished like that is much higher than a rich person. But the point I want to make again is that black people are, are in no position and don't fit the criteria to be racist because they don't have any power. And then racism will form and come from out of this creation of white supremacy in order for white people to maintain their domination of the world based on race as well as protect their race from genetic annihilation because if you mix with darker people, it will make your race become extinct. And that is what so many of those who know are trying to prevent. This is your brother, Talik Ibn Ra. I may be wrong. If so, jot down your comments, and uh, let's talk about it. Y'all have a nice day. And this was and is the Realities Temple on Earth.